Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here with Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in a geek, my Twitter handle, Geekazine, of course, Geekazine at gmail.com. And today we are doing uh, tutorial number three of TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is an add-on for your YouTube to let you do uh, some automated stuff, which is really cool. It's an awesome program. Uh, let's pull it up really quick here. Um, this is TubeBuddy uh, really quick, and so basically... Uh, you can uh, do things like bulk copy cards, find and replace and append, video to video promotions, bulk per descriptions, uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. It grows, and the best part, this is really cool. It, from this area, you can get to your My Videos comments. Um, you got the uh, full support area right here to subscribe and follow, and live chat support, which is always nice in some of these situations. But the coolest part about this is you can you can do some automation and they're they're really up to finding new ways to make YouTube doing YouTube uh, and getting things out a lot easier for you and me. And uh, and, and I'll, I'll show you the reason why. In the first video, we talked about copying annotations and cards to all of your videos. Now, I'm over on my Geekazine channel. I have over a thousand videos as you can see right here, one thousand ninety nine videos on my YouTube channel. And it grows. It's it's eleven hundred. This will be the eleven hundredth video out of here. So if I need to go back and replace some verbiage or a link or something like that, let's say geekazine.com, I change everything to brandnewwebsite.com. I can go back and I can actually change all those links to brandnewwebsite.com and don't have to go one uh, video to video to video or just completely forget the uh, previous. 1,000 videos that I've done, I can have everything cool from there. So we we showed you how to copy annotations and cards and do a bulk copy across all your videos. The second tutorial, we talked about the share tracker and the advanced em embed, so you don't have to go into the video to get your embed code to uh, to pull it out. Today, we're going to show you, and, and these two bottom ones right here, advanced embed and thumbnail generator, the coolest thing is I suggested both of these, and they said, yeah, those are great ideas. So they added them. So they're very up for uh, for new ideas and stuff like that. If you don't know what TubeBuddy is and you, and you like the idea of being able to do some sort of automation in your annotations, in your cards, in your uh, just uh, doing promotion and stuff like that, you can get yourself a copy by going over to TubeBuddy.com forward slash geek. TubeBuddy.com forward slash geek. That's my affiliate code. It's not. This is not a sponsored video. This is just my affiliate code. You can get 20% off if you go to TubeBuddy.com forward slash geek. All right, so today I'm going to show you this one right here. It's still in beta, but I already used it, as you can see in this video right here, uh, which is the first tutorial, bulk copy your annotations and cards. Um, we're going to do it for TubeBuddy tutorial number two, Share Tracker Advanced Embed. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, tube, to tube buddy, excuse me, and go to thumbnail generator. Now, thumbnail generator, it's, it's in beta, so there might be a little bit of a question here if how it's working and stuff like that. Hopefully, there will, won't be any problems in getting this going. Uh, the first one was pretty self uh, explanatory, it was really, really easy to use. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to first get a still image for the video and uh. Uh, it doesn't really explain what the video is about, so I'm going to forward a little bit, probably to about here. Nope. Let's see. We're going to go to about here. There we go. Here we go. Advanced video embed. I'm going to pause it. Let me just take that off of there from there. So we'll go like that. Yeah, we'll just pause it right there. That's That should be good. So now I have I have the screen grab. From here, I can adjust the frame by using the previous and uh, next buttons to go like a, a frame by frame. And then when I'm ready, when I have this all set, I'll go to next. There is my background for that. That would be that could be my thumbnail right now. But I always like to add more stuff to it. And the two things I like to add to it. First of all, is a couple images. The first image is this one right here, which is a it it, it blacks out the screen. But the whole idea is once I start moving it, as you can see. I can put it right about here, and I can choose to bring it to front or send it to back. Of course, this is the first layer. This is the background layer. I don't think you can pull that up from from the background because uh, that is technically the background there. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to set this right here. So I've got my first uh, first part here, 
Then I'm going to go back in image and I'm going to grab my Geekazine logo, as you can see, very big because uh, you like to make big images and then shrink them down as opposed to making small images and blowing them up because then they start looking blurry. Uh, this way, the, the actual image in the final production will look pretty crisp. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to put this down here, right there. And I, like I said, I can say bring it to the back or send it to the front, as you can see. Uh, works pretty well from there. Next thing I'm going to do is text. Now, since this is in beta, there's not much in the text. I'm, I'm hoping that they'll add a, a centering feature and a left-right you know, uh, justification type stuff. But right now, you've got your text. You've got the font, which they only have a host of fonts. Um, I'm just using an Arial bold here. And, of course, the color. And in this case, I'm going to do the color being white. So I'm going to choose that color. I'm going to enter my text here. I'm going to say... Tube Buddy Tutor Tutorial Number Two and uh, what was it? Uh, Share Tracker Advanced Embed. Now, since there is no center, I'm going to actually do a simple center right here to try and so it looks a little bit better I, I always like the centering option and in fact a lot of my videos when i create a thumbnail for it um well, i resize each line uh to the fonts so they they match but uh, i can't do it here so i'm just going to do it this way and i got ariel here and i'm going to hit add and it's here you can't see it it actually added here i just need to move it over here and for some reason it didn't bold everything let's bold it there we go now i can take and i can do some adjusting and I might have to change that so advanced embed is in two separate lines because it doesn't look like whoops I've gone full screen let's exit full screen and let's close that sorry about that <laughs> I hit a button so anyway so uh Stuff some code. The, the whole point is that uh, I can actually take this and I can I can move this around. Let me adjust this a little bit. And I'll go up here and I'll take out some of the spacing that I put in. Oops. And up there and embed like that. There we go. That looks a lot better. Now I can uh, now I can uh, stretch it out a little bit maybe move a couple things around here and go like that so now here's my here's what i have for a thumbnail i can put more images on fun little stars and shapes i can upload and uh, put it in there i don't know how many layers you can do i haven't really done a maximum minimum but this is a basic a very basic yet very effective thumbnail for uh, for your video so this is the video this is what show up in youtube facebook I don't know, I'm not sure if that's how it'll show up in Facebook. Usually it shows a 16 by 9. This looks like a 4 by 3. Um, and, of course, this will also be 16 by 9. This will be 1280 by 720, which is YouTube's uh, requirement for thumbnails. So I'll just hit the Save and Publish, and I'm good to go. Yep, and I'll say, do you sure you want to do it? I'll say, okay, setting the thumbnail. And then I hit the Reload button on the page. And there you go. There's my thumbnail. If I go to edit here, you'll actually see the thumbnail. Now, this is interesting because if you just change the image from here, if you have that option, some of you might not have this option to add a thumbnail. It depends on how your YouTube status is, so uh, don't worry if it's not there. But if, if you change it here, it usually doesn't show up here. Usually I get one of these screenshots up here. So with this, it actually really embeds that, uh, that thumbnail. So I really like that option because there's been times that I've put thumbnails in and they don't show up at all. So if I wanted to promote this video now, I can actually promote it properly and get this going, go from there. So that's basically it. That is the share thumbnail generator uh, part of the tutorial. 
Check out the other tutorials. I have the how to bulk copy annotations and cards, your share tracker, advanced embed. And if you are just impressed with this program, check it all out. You can get 20% off, 20% off over at tubebuddy.com forward slash geek, tubebuddy.com forward slash geek, and uh, go from there. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, check out Geekazine. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel over at youtube.com forward slash geekazine. The little subscribe area will be down here. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time. You guys geek out and take care.